All right, I suppose the best place to start with the system specifics is the suitcase or the, the power suitcase. Um, this is a somewhat ruggedized um, Pelican case. It does have a moisture seal around the edge uh, to prevent water from seeping in. However, this is not uh, to say that it can be submerged in water and expected to uh, not allow water in. Eventually some water will get in. Um, the system contains two 12 volt batteries. These are rated at uh, 33 amp hours and we've adapted them with these um, mated connectors so that there's no confusion about which way to connect them. That will reduce the chance of uh, shorting things out. I've also added a fuse next to the positive of each battery. This is a 5 amp fuse. You can open this with your hand. It's a regular automotive 5 amp fuse. If you need to replace one of these fuses, uh, be sure that you don't use a value higher than 5. 2.5 may be okay, but 5 is what we've set the rating at. The batteries can be removed from the luggage for transport. Um, it may be an issue when traveling by airplane uh, having these batteries installed in the, in the enclosure. So they may have to be checked separately or boxed uh, or transported some other way. Um, if you need more of these batteries, you can get them from Worker, and the uh, part number is listed there. It's WKDC 12-33J. So we strongly recommend that you keep a third spare that you always charge separately. That way you can always replace one battery without disrupting operations since the system can operate for a, uh, some time, several hours actually, on just one battery. Okay, the case also contains our LCD monitor. Uh, all of this is pre-wired to the umbilical port, which you see right there. It's a military style, although it's not hermetically sealed, it's a military style connector of 24 pins. And that handles uh, USB connections, serial communications, uh, DC power, and a video signal. We also have a USB connector here. This travels up the umbilical cord to the camera and lets you access the hard drive on the DVR from your laptop on the ground. So that's one way to download videos out in the field. And as you can see, we've affixed a bracket for storing the batteries. These are just intended to kind of keep the batteries in place. It's best if you insert the right side of the battery first. That lets it slip into place on the bracket. And then you just quickly, huh, as you can see, you can do this with one hand while holding a camera in the other. So it's very easy to uh, connect. And here is the power switch. When the switch is pointed towards the operator, that is in this direction, uh, it is in the off position. You can see the labels right there, on, off. This engages power. When power is engaged, you can turn on the monitor. There's currently no video because we don't have the umbilical cord connected. Um, the monitor itself has three inputs, audio-visual one, audio-visual two, and VGA. The VGA cable has been removed uh, to make it easier to fit into the system here. So there is no VGA input signal. Um, to turn off the monitor, you have to hold down the power button for two to three seconds and make sure that it turns off. When charging the system without pulling the batteries out, that is if you're just going to connect directly to the terminals, please, please, please don't forget to turn this off in the off position and preferably remove the umbilical cord. That way you will avoid damaging the DVR or the camera, which are more sensitive to voltage spikes than the LCD monitor is. So please don't forget to do that. Okay, so that's all there is to learn about the luggage for now. 
I'm going to go and grab a screwdriver and then we'll talk a little bit about the camera itself.